life isn't promised. Life can be cruel. Life can be sad. Life can be unfair. It can be a living hell. But it can also be the opposite. There is a lot of feelings and stages in life waiting to be experienced only for what they are. You'll never be happy if you continue to search for what happiness consists of. You will never live if you are looking for the meaning of life. Life has no meaning. Each one of us has a meaning and we bring it to life. It's a waste to be asking the question when you are the answer. Man suffers only because he takes seriously what was made for fun. We humans take things too seriously. We overanalyze, we overthink, we overvalue things to the point of depression. We define whether our lives is meaningful or meaningless by some things like money or fame and attention, or maybe someone or something. It could be a test degree or even a religious belief. We think that we are taking control of our lives by taking these things as a higher purpose. We make the fulfillment of them our mission in life. We work desperately to get them in our lives. And then we get really sad and devastated when things doesn't go the way we thought they will. So, in most case scenarios, we can be held responsible for the sadness of our lives. Because we limited the infinite possibilities of life by making it revolves only around a small number of choices. We forgot the limitlessness of life and choose to play by the limited rules of our societies. Because we were told that it's what most people do. Well, most people doesn't care about your life. Most people don't care if your life became a living hell. Most people won't give a damn about your happiness. Don't leave your life in the hands of others because you are the one who is gonna live with the consequences of the decisions made in your life. Start seeing life on a different level. There is nothing wrong with experiencing. There is nothing wrong with trying different sides of life. Because there is nothing such as good or a bad experience. There is only an experience. So don't limit your life by painting it with one color. Don't limit your eyes by keep looking at the same direction. Don't limit your feelings by over experiencing the same experience. Don't limit your relations by holding on to a dead one. Don't limit your potentials by fearing the unfamiliar. Don't make your life revolves only around the one side of the coin by keeping yourself from seeing what both sides has to offer. Don't waste your life trying to avoid what it means to be alive. Because at the end, it's the joys and tears and sweat and pain and falling and succeeding and experiencing is what makes us really alive. Start observing the way you live and the way you think and start eliminating what is holding you back. 
Start questioning the solid ground of the life you know. It will create a new grounds for your life to expand what is inside your mind of wonders and infinite capabilities. Once you do that, you'll see that your life is so much more than a person or a test. Your life is so much more than one unpleasant experience. Your life isn't about how many times you get what you want, or how many goals did you achieve, or how many times you fail or succeed. It's about how much of your life did you really live.